And when you wake up, oh, I have boobs. <laughs> Imagine being a surgeon. That's where the money is, man. Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel and today I'm gonna be doing a Q&A video, okay? This is gonna be about my boobs, getting my boobs done. A lot of you are always asking me questions. Originally, I was gonna wait until I hit my one year um, mark to do the post-op video, but because so many of you are always asking me questions and stuff, I decided, you know what, it's gonna be exactly the same, so I might as well just get it out, out of the way and do this video, okay? You guys have asked me so many questions. So I'm going to be answering them. If you're new to my channel, make sure you click that subscribe button to join the family and follow me on my socials because I do post more outside of YouTube. Okay, so I did a poll on my Instagram. So this, I did two polls because the first one I had already recorded this video as well. And then I, I, I don't know how, but it ended up just vanishing. So I'm going to try to find, I'm going to answer the one that I posted today and then I'm going to try to find the one that I posted months ago for the post-op and for the question. The first question is, uh, that's the first question, that's, that's the first answer. Okay, before I start, I just want to touch base over everything, which is kind of like the general what everybody always asks so my doctor is dr frank lista he's located here in toronto um at the time i was living in mississauga so i got it there i was about 15 minutes 20 minutes away not even 20 minutes away from where the surgery the clinic was so it was really easy for me to just go in go out and go home so um that's the clinic is called the plastic surgery clinic um the size that i got was 485 cc's they don't go by bra sizes they do it by cc so if you were to go into person that's what you're um like that's what you expect you go in you put on a sports bra and you just try on the different sizes that's the closest that you'll be able to um know kind of like what size to get a lot of times people always ask this is also what i did before going in i would i kept on looking at other people that got their their boobs done and then i would show him i'm like well this is what i want and then he would say he would tell me that it's really not the same and in, in the end it's really true because everybody has different um shapes and sizes what like let's say from my size okay this is what my size looks on me this size is going to look completely different on somebody else, whether they're taller, shorter, if they're a little bit skinnier, heavier set, whatever the case may be. Regardless, everybody's body is different. So that's why you can't go based on somebody else's size, okay? Um, <clears throat> well, I feel out of breath. The next question that's also asked a lot is where and how. So I know some other surgeons, they do it moderate profile high profile i don't know how whatever it does but at for dr frank lissa the only how he does it is just like over the muscle under the muscle and um there was no such thing as high profile moderate or anything it's just based on like your body type basically and for me i did it through my armpits some people can do it through under under your um your boobs you can do it through your belly button which is the most dangerous so i really recommend not to do that um or you can also do it through your nipples which is the areola i think yeah um i wanted i chose to do it through my armpit just because um it's very minimal and i will be showing you guys the scar eventually as well so i did it through my armpit because nobody really looks at your armpit okay it's definitely going to be it, it's in the middle of a crease okay so versus if it's under here i wear a lot of tops and i love doing under boob style so showing that it i just didn't want to have a scar there okay so that's why i did it through the armpit and he's known for doing it through the armpit not a lot of people can do it safely through the armpit so if you guys are trying or looking for people that do it through the armpit i suggest that you really do your research because um something really bad can happen and stuff like that so yeah okay, so now that's out of the way um did the scar fade the scar hasn't faded completely it's still like slowly fading away even when i went to my my my, uh, my massage therapist even he was like he's really impressed about how nicely the scar is fading away so it's not a hundred percent when i left 
the clinic they actually also gave me a scar fading gel which is this stuff that you can buy from um, the clinic having a scar fading uh, gel is really important and helps it honestly I don't really use it and I should but I just don't because it, it healed so nicely that I don't but I should <laughs> do you regret it at all honestly I 100% do not regret it I feel like my confidence has changed since I got my boobs done um, it's definitely something that I would never take back um, I'm really really happy with them I feel like I went to a really good doctor so it doesn't make me regret anything so definitely no did you lose any feelings in your nipples actually now that is a, a side effect you can lose um, nipple sensation but for me actually I feel like it made my nipples more sensitive because so after I got them done, my nipples were swollen. When I tell you they were swollen for the longest time, and I didn't really feel much until I would say the month after is when I started to feel it just felt normal, but it also kept getting hard a lot. Versus now, like like I said, I, they feel so sensitive, especially when I'm on my period or I'm ovulating or it's just cold out. They get really hard and they're just really sensitive. So no, I didn't lose um, feeling in my nipples. <clears throat> what was the healing process like? So the healing process is basically when you leave, when you're done, um, you wake up in the bed. For me, when I woke up, it felt more of pressure. So let's say somebody was sitting on your chest or putting books a whole bunch of books stacked up on your chest it doesn't hurt it just feels pressure and for me honestly some people also ask me if it's painful in my opinion it wasn't that painful i was expecting it to be way worse now i don't know if it's because of the medications that i was on that helped me but like i said it didn't it didn't hurt in my opinion i feel like i've experienced way more pain um before than that so um so yeah after that it just feels like pressure um the f i would say the first day was the hardest because you're stuck on the bed like this you can't lift yourself up somebody has to help you come up now also because i did it through my armpit it is people that do it through your armpits it is a slightly more longer healing period versus if you're just doing it under your boobs so Usually some people, they can go back to work after a week. I would say I wasn't able to lift up my arms until probably the third week. And even then, after the third week, probably the most that I could do was like this. Um, so that's the only thing about doing it um, under the armpit. But in my opinion, it was completely worth it because right now they look amazing with the scars. And like I said, when I wear tops, you can't see it in anything the first week which is pretty much everything is settling and stuff the second week is kind of like the fun part where you start to massage them and that's when they really start to get they loosen up and start to get soft so for me when i went in there i was so excited to start massaging them because that's when they start to get jiggly okay so um my nurse she told me this is how you go you go this way you go out you go up and then you go you push it down and then you do that about i had to do that for 15 minutes 10 times a day and i know that seems like a lot but in the long run it helps you out a lot because that's what will help your boobs drop and have that natural look um massaging definitely helped me a lot and then after the second week the third week was when you were able to start laying on your chest which also helped a lot because um, like I said, it just loosens everything up and gives it a nice drop. Um, but yeah, the healing process wasn't that bad in my opinion. Do you want to do a plastic surgery again? Honestly, I don't have anything that I want to do. Um, so no, <laughs> my boobs were on the only thing that I ever wanted to fix. Like I said in my path, in my, in my, um, video was, what was I even saying in my video? The only thing that I've done to my body is my boobs, okay? Some of you wish, some of you wish I got my, my butt done. 
so let's just i'm just putting that out there the only thing that i've done is my boobs a lot of time people are like oh well if you got your boobs done then that means you also got your legs done and it's like no the only reason why i did my boobs in the first place is because you can't you can't grow boobs you either have them or you don't it's just a hundred percent genetics you can't you have them or you don't plain and simple versus your lower body you can build it up which is pretty much what my whole channel is about on a scale of 1 to 10, how was the pain? Like I said, for me, it wasn't that painful. I feel like the pain, it was it's mostly painful on the first day. That's what. But you have the medications that help you out uh, a lot. So, but if I had to, if I was to put it on a scale, I would, for me, I would say probably like a 5. Yeah. Do you have any regrets or do you think you should have waited until you had kids? Now, when before I decided, I spoke to my mom about it and I even asked her um, if I if I should wait until I have kids. And honestly, the thing is, when it comes to this, um, it really just depends on you. Like even Cardi B talked about it. She was like, she got her boobs on, had the kid, had her kid. And then she said how after her boobs dropped a lot, so she got it redone again. Um, for me personally, I just wanted to do it now because I just genuinely don't know when I'm going to have kids. Like, I w I'm 23 years old. I could have kids. I don't plan on having kids anytime soon. So I would most likely have kids probably when I'm like 25, 26, whatever. Um, so for me, I just, I wanted to live my life with big titties before I have kids. Are you happy? with the size you got does it feel real it definitely feels real my boyfriend can vouch for that um they're very jiggly they're very soft um even sometimes like i'll feel my friends whose boobs are real and then i'll feel mine i'm like wow this feels exactly the same like it doesn't feel hard or anything now the only thing that i'll say is depending on what i'm wearing it makes it look hard if that makes if that makes any sense so let's say if i was wearing a top that pushes my boobs up you'll see you see what i mean you'll see the crease right there so obviously it will look hard versus if i don't have something that's pushing them up too much then it just has like the natural drop to it size wise i'm a hundred percent with percent satisfied with my size now one thing that i will say is um the first no the first at the, probably the end of the first week i did i was really worried just because i thought they were too big now the only reason okay i'm kind of all over the place okay so when i when i was trying out the sizes he even told me that when you get them done after it, it will feel like it's a lot or big in the beginning but after that year they kind of go down just a little bit just by probably like a size so when i first got them done the first week i thought they were huge and i and at first i started getting worried because i'm like wow they're so big i wanted to like i'm not happy with this i started to feel like i wasn't happy but it was just the swelling so once now um I would say probably like the third month after i'm like wow i feel like i could go bigger i should have gone bigger and then one thing i will say too is boob greed is real because the first part you think is is too big and then when it started the swelling and everything starts to go down then you start to think wow i feel like i could have gone bigger and then after you're like Ugh. now i feel like I'm 100% happy with my size because if I went any higher, then it won't look natural. Versus, if, um, if I went lower, then I I would have wanted it to go high. So I feel like I'm in the perfect um, area, or I chose the perfect size. How much time did it take to fully recover? I'd say probably to fully and to start working out. Um, I think was a month and a half. A month, yeah were you scared honestly i feel like i wasn't scared at all because i've wanted it for so long that i just like i was just excited and it was so much positivity um the people around me were excited for me i feel like if you have people in your life that are negative about it they're most likely just not they like they want it for themselves and they can't have it so like i said a lot of the people around me were positive i went in super happy and excited i wasn't nervous i spoke to them and also the people that were 
at the clinic made me really comfortable so like i said i wasn't scared the staff was amazing they were really nice helped me out and everything so no i wasn't scared how is it like working out with bigger breasts it doesn't feel like anything the one thing that i am happy about though because what i used to be able to do when i had smaller boobs is i used to be able to flex my my um my chest and after getting them done now i can still do it which is really fun i feel like sometimes i can also like they kind of like move but they don't feel like anything when i work out how long did it take your breasts to drop and fluff um they started to drop after the end of the second month yeah also another thing too is when i got when i got them done i thought they were really really high and also that's what the band over your chest and remind you this is only for when you have it through the armpit okay there's a little bit of a different process when you have it through your here and i'm assuming there's also a different process if you do it through your belly button and there's also a different process if you do it through your nipples so um for me i had to wear that all the time massage them um definitely the massaging will help them drop uh so definitely yeah so i would say the beginning of the third month was when they really really started to drop yeah um the next question is what's it like being put to sleep before the procedure so like i said in my last video when i got in i laid onto the the operation table they strapped my feet um and then my arms were this way and then they strapped my arms as soon as i lay down and they started hooking me up and stuff like that i was like this is the part where i fall asleep and they're like no not yet and then i'm just laying there and literally like literally you just pass out it's not like you just you don't even realize it just the same as how you fall asleep on a regular day you don't you don't know when you're about to sleep but you just fall asleep and then when you wake up oh i have boobs <laughs> which type of breast enhancement did you pick silicone or saline so this one it is um do you plan on having kids will you be able to breastfeed so i know i have plenty of friends that have gotten their boobs done and are breastfeeding fine um some people don't have the luxury or aren't able to and but that the ratio of who can breastfeed and who can't is very is very high so i'm not really worried about that even when i before the procedure i said will i be able to breastfeed and everything he said everything will be fine so as for maintenance did they tell you how long the implants would last so usually an implant will last about seven to ten years i think i think not a hundred percent sure i think it's seven to ten years but um i've had i also have a friend that she's had hers for about 10 years and she just goes in check up just to make sure nothing broke as it is you have gel so it doesn't spill into your body so you just gotta make sure you just go back and you just check that's all but yeah <clears throat> i know depending depending on what type of implant you have you most likely will have to go back like i think saline i think you have to go back i'm not 100 percent sure what changes are you noticing as times as time goes on so the only thing that i've probably noticed is just stretch marks around my just on my chest which is really normal because your skin you put implants in your body i mean you're it's gonna stretch out eventually so and then obviously when it starts to drop you're also stretching out your skin so that's pretty normal um what i do to help form my stretch marks is use bio oil and i just rub it on it definitely really helps uh, the times that I don't put bio oil on it, I can definitely see the red marks, but when I start using it, um, everything's fine. But I would say that's pretty much the only, um, only thing, yeah. My camera died. Okay, so is there a certain type of bra you use to work out now? So when I first, like, <clears throat> like I said before, doing it through your armpit, bless you, doing it through your armpit is really different. A different type of healing procedure versus doing it right here i wasn't allowed to wear a bra bless you i wasn't where i wasn't <laughs> i wasn't allowed to wear a bra until after i would say i honestly don't remember probably like almost nearly a month and even then i only wore it one time just to see how they would look 
bless you how they would look being pushed up after that one time i honestly have not worn like a bra i've only i only wear sports bras and that's pretty much it hi come say hi come say hi how long was the procedure the procedure was about an hour i believe it's really not a long process and he was he does probably like 10 more than 10 people a day so it, damn imagine being a surgeon that's where the money is man because if one if one procedure is ten thousand dollars and you have let's say 10 people a day make a bank sweetie you make a bank aren't you worried about any type of infection or disease your body can reject the implants at any time now honestly when it comes any anything in life i mean even piercings your body can reject it tattoos your body can reject. i've gotten tattoos i've gotten piercings my body hasn't rejected anything so i really wasn't worried about my body rejecting this or um having infections because I took really care of my I took a really good care of myself during my healing process so disease uh, having a disease or an infection was definitely not um, something that I was worried about I kept I up kept I up kept my routine for the healing process um, now talking about years to go from now obviously nobody knows what's gonna happen to them years from now you just gotta you know and that's the thing about life you never know what life what's gonna happen in life so you're either just gonna sit there and worry about it or are you just gonna live your life why are girls so insecure about their bodies um honestly i feel like girls are insecure about their bodies and now it's not even just girls both girls and guys are really insecure about themselves there's not one single person on this planet that is insecure about something whether it's the way they talk whether it's something physically on their body whether it's a mental how they personal traits whatever the case may be is there's somebody always insecure about something and they'll they will um experience it through their lifetime at least once some people weigh more than others um i feel like as women we definitely are um insecure a lot because we're always being compared now like there's as a woman like you you're gonna get judged regardless and like whether you're too skinny you're too fat you're oh and even if you're in the middle of too skinny and too fat some people are gonna find something wrong with you um you dress too you you dress too slutty oh you dress too much that means you're a prude oh your hair is too fuzzy your hair is straight like i feel like um, I have seen so many people even talk about this where um, the same girls that keep on talking about women empowerment and all these things are the same people that are talking shit about those same women. Those same women in their comments and gossiping. So um, we're insecure because people just, that's just how society is. People talk about other people because they're also insecure about themselves and I feel like um, people hate on other people that have surgery hey now for me like I said I, I've never had an issue with somebody getting something done to fix whatever that they feel you know I feel like a lot of people if they had the money to do it they definitely would and I feel like just because you don't have the money to do it you're just gonna hate on somebody else because they they did it you know what i mean so and even what's the name of that quote you're not bro you're not ugly you're just broke so um i feel like you know some people are insecure about some things not as much to be able to um fix it versus some people it's just oh i'm insecure about this but like it's not something i'm not insecure to the point where i would fix it now at first i wasn't insecure to the point where i'd fix it um i always told myself that it's okay and wearing push-up bras and stuff like that and even in my last video i even 
talked about this i said i was gonna like give myself a year before i do the surgery if it kept on coming up and i said wow you know i feel like i want to do it then i said okay after the one year if whether it came out up a lot and it didn't i'm gonna do it and if not i'm not gonna do it so it's definitely a personal it's a personal thing um the only thing that i can say to people or to girls that are insecure about the size that they have is honestly just don't care about what other people think um you can't live your life based on other people's opinions like there's so many people that have opinions of me based on the pictures i take and me and just anything they'll talk about you they'll get find any reason to talk about you so you either just are just gonna live your life how you want to live it and they're gonna hate on you even if you live your life following what they want and what they're talking about you to do they're still going to hate on you so you might as well just do what you want to do at this point so that's my take on it um that is pretty much it for this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it comment down below if you're, if i missed your question um i don't think i missed any questions those are pretty pretty much the main questions that i got i'm sorry if i keep looking over here it's just that's just like my what i look at what the direction i look when i'm thinking okay so um yeah i hope i enjoy i i hope i answered you guys' questions if you have any more comment down below and i will try to answer them as well and i hope to see you guys in my next video So